At the beginning of the 19th century, the new necessities of industry and cities led to new solutions in architecture and construction. Historicism was abundant and gave rise to a new current, reflecting the daily reality and the touchable truth. This was when new materials were introduced, one of which was steel. The use of steel started at the beginning of the 20th century. Its qualities allowed a faster and cheaper construction. It managed to eliminate the inner support, achieving clear architecture and wider inner spaces. The introduction of steel completely transformed the architecture of that moment and it is quite evident by citing a few architectural wonders like the Eiffel Tower of Paris, the first skyscrapers of the world at Chicago and the numerous space frames used all over the world. The use of steel structures permits designers to experiment with many architectural forms and artistic expressions which are more difficult to build in conventional concrete frame structures. With steel, more challenging and creative designs can now be considered leading to buildings that are aesthetically distinctive and of high build quality. Let us now see how the process of manufacturing of steel takes place. The process of manufacturing of steel requires billets which are manufactured with a combination of sponge iron, pig iron, MS syrup and certain chemicals like carbon, manganese, sulphur and phosphorus at different proportions. Once a billet is manufactured, they are cut into a length of 4 meters with a cross section of 102 by 102 mm and made to pass through a blast furnace with a temperature of 1100 degrees Celsius to 1150 degrees Celsius. After the billet is reheated and rolled into rods, it undergoes a short cooling on the surface. As such, the crust of the bar turns into hard martensite while the core remains hot and austenitic. The core reheats the cool surface and further tempers the coated martensite. At this point of time, the surface and core temperatures become equal which is known as the equalizing temperature. On further natural cooling of the core, the austenite transforms into a fine-grained, pearlier structure, thus giving QST bars its unique characteristics of excellent bend ability.
मटेरियल है वो ये है इसको कहते हैं बिलेट ये कावर आता है जो इंगट होता है ठीक है ये बिलेट है और ये कोई भी रोलिंग मिल के लिए यही रॉ मटेरियल ठीक है ना और इससे क्या है कि आप अपने हिसाब से जिस साइज में आपको तो रोलिंग करना है उस साइज़ का आप अपने साइज से कट करते हैं हम अपने साइज में पार्ट्स बनाते बनाने के बाद जो है रोलिंग प्रोसेस के लिए कलर ये है रॉ मटेरियल इसको कहते हैं बिलेट एम एस बिलेट माइल Let us now see a short glimpse of the various fabrication processes that are used before the final application of steel. The first process is the shielded arc welding, informally known as the stick welding. It uses an electrode coated in flux to lay the weld. Here, 
an electric arc is formed between the electrode and metal to be joined. As the weld is laid, the flux coating the electrode disintegrates, giving off vapors that provide a layer of slug which protects the weld area. The second method is the gas welding process, commonly called oxyacetylene welding that uses fuel gases and oxygen to weld and cut metals. Let's see what happens here. Oxygen increases the flame temperature which helps in melting of workpiece material that is steel in a room environment. In this they use a welding torch. Two pieces when heated to a room temperature produces a shared pool of molten metal which acts as a filler material to join the two pieces of metal. Let us now see how in the practical world steel finds an application in the form of railings, entrance gates, long span space frames, window grills, etc. through a small video captured in a fabrication store. We now talk about a few of the advantages of construction of steel structures. The first advantage being its property of high strength to weight ratio. This property makes steel a very attractive structural material for high rise buildings. long span bridges, structures located on soft ground and structures located in highly seismic areas. The second advantage is its property of ductility. Properly designed steel structures can have high ductility which is an important characteristic for resisting shock loading such as blasts or earthquakes. Steel can be predicted with a high degree of certainty. In contrast to reinforced concrete, steel properties do not change considerably with time. Another property of steel is its speedy erection which normally results in quicker economic payoff. Another property is its quality of construction. Steel structures can be built with high quality workmanship and narrow tolerances. Ease of repair is another property of steel which in general can be repaired quickly and easily. Adoption of prefabrication is also an important property of steel structures. Steel is highly suitable for prefabrication and mass production. The best advantage of having a steel structure is its repetitive use. Steel can also be reused after a structure is disassembled. Now we see how steel finds an application. As architect Lee Corbusier says, you employ stone, wood and concrete and with these materials you build houses and palaces. That is construction. Ingenuity is at work but suddenly you touch my heart, you do me good, I am happy and I say this is beautiful, that is architecture. One such example in the northeastern region is the Royal Global School which in true sense reflects the essence and the ideas of Lee Corbusier. One can almost feel the soaring heights of knowledge upon viewing the steel frame that leads one into this vast concourse of knowledge. The large clear distance between the two concrete blocks has been beautifully spanned with rolled beams that frame the ripping throaty roar of education. The steel frames consists of several steel joists spaced apart 
framed into a rectangular outline. The vertical joists are joined with the help of channel sections which are welded to the horizontal members. But the use of steel does not end here as you move inside the curvilinear galleries with shining steel railings hanging one above the other catch the eye.